Welcome wood enthusiasts to the world of woodworking mastery. Dive deep into the splendor of the wooden realm where the skill of your hands and the creativity of your mind come together to shape beautiful creations from raw timber. In this captivating world where the grains of wood tell tales of nature, one finds a blend of artistry, craftsmanship, and design. Today we are poised on the precipice of an exciting journey into the intricate and often overlooked aspect of woodworking, the art of using wood filler to perfection. Often underestimated, the use of wood filler is akin to a magician's trick. It can magically erase the imperfections and bring out the pristine of the wood. Filling gaps, smoothening surfaces, and making your masterpiece look polished and refined, the wood filler is truly a game changer in the realm of woodworking. As your guide, I am here to walk you through every step of this process, taking care to ensure that you fully understand the nuances of selecting the right wood filler, mixing it to the right consistency, applying it with precision, and then sanding it down for that flawless finish. This is not just about fixing flaws, it is about the character of the wood and enhancing its natural beauty. Whether you're a seasoned woodworker or a beginner taking your first tentative steps into this fascinating world, understanding and mastering the use of wood filler is an essential skill. It's not just the function it serves, it's the finesse it brings. Used correctly, wood filler can enhance the wood's natural patterns, give a smooth finish, and augment the overall aesthetic of your projects. This essential skill, whether you're a seasoned woodworker or a beginner, can truly elevate the finish of your projects. The process starts by ensuring that the area to be filled is clean and free from debris. This is an essential first step, as any particulate matter lodged within the gap, or dust coating the surrounding surface, could adversely affect the adhesion of the filler, resulting in an inferior finish. It's recommended to use a small soft brush to gently whisk away any fine particles. More stubborn debris may require a lighter touch with a handheld vacuum or a can of compressed air. Once the area is thoroughly clean, we move on to the next crucial stage. This involves the deft use of a putty knife. Now a putty knife is a simple yet versatile tool, typically consisting of a thin, flexible steel blade attached to a handle. The blade can be flat or slightly curved, making it perfect for applying, spreading, and smoothing materials like wood filler. So, wielding your putty knife, you should then proceed to evenly apply the wood filler into the gap or imperfection. The application needs precision, a careful hand, and a keen eye. Too little filler and the repair won't hold, too much, and it could bulge out, creating an unsightly lump on the surface. Once the filler is applied, the next task is to smooth it out. This is where the flat edge of your putty knife really comes into its own. With careful measured strokes, you should glide the blade across the surface of the filler, making sure it's level with the surface of the wood. This is a skill that requires practice, but with time, you'll find the right pressure and angle to achieve a flush finish. However, for smaller gaps, the putty knife might prove too unwieldy. In these cases, don't discount the effectiveness of your own finger. Sometimes the tactile feedback from your skin is the best guide to ensuring an even application and a perfect blend with the surrounding wood. So, for smaller gaps, your finger could be the best tool to ensure a seamless finish. Once you've applied the filler, the key is patience. You must recognize that this process isn't a race. Quality takes time and cannot be rushed. This is a crucial step not to be overlooked. The filler needs time to settle in and dry out. The magic happens when you allocate it ample time to dry. The more thoroughly the filler dries, the stronger the bond it forms with the surface, providing a more solid and stable base for the next steps in the procedure. The importance of this waiting period is often underestimated but it is in fact the cornerstone of the process. Giving the filler the necessary time to dry allows it to integrate completely with the surface and harden. You might feel the urge to rush but resist it. Remember, good things take time. You might not see it happening but the filler is slowly sinking in, completing its purpose. The filler, once dried, forms a strong and robust foundation. A foundation that will support the weight of the paint and withstand the natural elements. This is what makes the weight worthwhile. Then comes the next step sanding. Sanding not only ensures a smooth surface but also guarantees a uniform texture. It buffs away any rough patches leaving behind a level and even surface that's ready for the finishing touch. It's the icing on the cake, the cherry on top of your painstakingly prepared base. So, remember, patience is key in this process and the wait is definitely worth it. And just like that, your wood is ready for the final touches of staining or painting, leaving behind a finish that's as flawless as it gets. Now some may think that woodworking is a simple task. 
cutting a piece of wood, sanding it, and then staining or painting it. But let me tell you, it's a lot more complex and fulfilling than that. Woodworking is an art, a craft that requires patience, precision, and a deep understanding of the material you're working with. It's not just about creating an object, it's about bringing to life an idea, a vision. It's about creating something that not only serves a purpose but tells a story, a story of dedication, craftsmanship, and love. But where does one start? Well, every journey has to start somewhere, and so does the journey of mastering woodworking. The saying goes, every master was once a beginner, and it couldn't be more accurate. Each one of us has to start with the basics, understanding the tools and the techniques that are needed. It may seem daunting at first, but let me assure you, with the right guidance, anyone can become a master woodworker, and that's where we come in. We are here to provide you with that guidance. We offer a free mastery woodworking video guide and an ebook on our website www.peterstimbershop.com. Our guide's designed to help you understand the basics and gradually build up your skills. Whether you're a novice looking to start a new hobby or a seasoned woodworker hoping to enhance your skills, our resources are tailored to cater to your needs. So, why wait? It's never too late to start learning, to start creating. Claim your free resources now. It's time to enhance your woodworking skills with us. Embark on this beautiful journey towards woodworking mastery and see how the simple act of shaping wood can bring immense satisfaction and joy. Thank you for joining this to Woodworking Mastery. Remember, with the right techniques and tools, any piece of wood can transform into a masterpiece. Until next time, relish the joy of woodworking.